Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'll be talking about particular option wherein you'll have a provision of entering any fraction. For example, if I want to enter any fraction, you know what is a fraction, right? So, for example, if I say to is a fraction, no, it's just a number. Okay. And if you see clearly in the formula bar, it is already visible that it's a number. But if I say uh, one by nine, one by nine, is this a fraction? Yes, it's a fraction. But what happens if you just press enter? Let's have a look. See, it is getting changed to the date type column. Date type cell. See here, in the formula bar, it's clearly shown September 1st, 2023. Okay, so Excel usually understands it as you are actually trying to provide a date in the cell. So that should not be the case. We actually want to enter a fraction. So then in the scenario, how to enter any fraction? If you want to enter any fraction, then first of all, you need to enter zero. After that, you need to press space. And then you can enter whatever you want. For example, I want to enter one by nine as my fraction. Okay, if I press enter, then automatically it recognizes it as a fraction. See here, it is actually calculated it uh, in the formula bar that is 0 0.111 on something. So this is a way you can do it or else. Now, what you can, what you can also do it is, for example, if I select this, right click format cells and go to this fraction here. If we select up to one digit, click OK. Now it won't work. Why? Because it is already there in the date format. Okay. But if we can try on this particular fraction, we can. For example, here I have entered a fraction one by nine. In the sense, in my denominator, it is having only one number. And in my numerator also, it's only have one number. But if you want to change it to Maybe uh, two, for example, see here, I want to enter 53. I want to enter 53 divided by 62. Okay, I want to enter this. Okay, so how to do that? Simple, press zero, space, 53 divided by 62. If I press enter, let's see what happens. Okay, it's actually, it's actually considering it as a fraction. Okay, why? Why it is actually considering it as a fraction? Why? Because if you just right click here and go to this format cells, here we have already selected up to uh, earlier, I have already selected up to three digits. Okay, and now 53 divided by 62 is nothing but only two, two digits, right? In the numerator, it is having two digits, in the denominator, it is having three uh, two digits. So it is within the limit of these three digits of formula. For example, if I select, if I select only this thing, if I click OK, what happens? 53 divided by 62 has been reduced to 6 by 7. Okay, 6 by 7. But if you want to change that, for example, to 0 base 2296 divided by Two five. Here it has been changed to the particular format. Okay. So likewise, you can always play with it. You just need to go to this formula cells, and you can select whatever you want. If you want to enter three digits in your denominator and in your numerator as well, you can select this up to three digits, or if you just click OK then automatically it will be in the three digits format too. Okay, here it's in the right format. Okay, and you can also select maybe two digits or one digit and whatever you want, you can easily select. For example, here I'm entering zero and then I want to enter maybe, maybe 80 divided by 
ओके आई वॉन्ट टू एंटर एटी डिवाइड बाई वन सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस एंटर इट हेज बीन रेड्यूस टू वन बाई टू ओके वाई बिकॉज जीरो जीरो गेट्स कैंसिल एंड वेन यू लुक एट हियर एट डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटीन इन देंस वन बाई टू राइट तो एक्सेल हेज ऑलरेडी रेड्यूस इट टू द लीस्ट पॉसिबल फ्रैक्शन एक्सेल ऑलवेज रेड्यूसेस any of the fraction that you enter it always reduces that to the least possible fraction okay so it has been reduced to least possible fraction but now you don't want this okay if i am giving 80 divided by 60 for example so i am giving 80 divided by 160 i only need uh, that in terms of 80s okay that in terms of 80s too so how to do that then in the scenario see i'm just selecting this 1 by 2 going here formatting cell and then here here you will have an option called as 16s okay you just select this as 16s and uh, if you just click okay then what happens see that 1 by 2 has been Uh, modified as eight by sixteen, which is also a correct, right? Eight divided by sixteen, and this is obviously you will get one by two as your uh, end result. But we don't want this one by one by two as our end result. We only need in terms of uh, double digit fraction. So we have, we can, uh, I mean, we we have a provision to modify this. Okay, you can select eight by sixteen, uh, as sixteens. You can easily. For example, this one by two, I'm selecting. I want to format this with eights. Okay, if I click OK, see here, it has been modified as four by eight, which is nothing but one by two, right? So, whatever we want. For example, if I want this fraction to be in terms of eights, I can easily go here, format cell. I can select this particular option as eights. Then, my end result would be. In the type of as eights, okay. If I select sixteen as sixteen, then my end result would be in the type of as sixteen. If I select as tens, then see what happens. See five by ten is my end result. So likewise, you can always play with it. Okay. Now, for example, we have an option called, for example, I want to enter maybe forty divided by fifty. Okay, forty divided by fifty. If I enter this, what happens is Excel automatically does its job. Zero, space forty divided by fifty. The press enter. It has automatically reduced it to four divided by five. Okay. So, but I don't want this. Instead, what I usually need is I want this to be in maybe tens or sixties. So, what we can do? So, for example. For example, I want to be, I mean, I want to be that number as uh, in in terms of tens. For example, how to do that? Just right click it and format cells. And here we don't have an option. We we don't have an option called fifties. Uh, Earlier we have as eights, as sixteens, as tens, as hundreds is the last one. But we don't have an option called as fifties. So then, in the in the scenario, then what we can do is here we have an option called custom. Just if you just go to that, and what happens? Just scroll down a little bit. Yeah, here you will have an option called uh, hash question mark divided by sixty. You can just select this. You can just select this thing. If you just click OK. Then this four divided by five has been uh, modified as forty divided by sixty, which is also a correct value. So in likewise, you can always make some changes to your fraction. Or else, if you really want to enter forty divided by sixty, this one, right click. So here, for myself, custom. Yeah, maybe you can edit it. Okay. So 
ओके सी नाउ दैट 4 डिवाइडेड बाय 5 हैज बीन चेंज्ड टू 40 डिवाइडेड बाय 50 वी गेट दैट फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव 4 वी आई हैव 1 डिवाइड बाय ओके ओके सो नाउ आई वांट this fraction to be changed to uh, maybe in terms of 200s okay in terms of 200s i want this so format cells custom let's go here scroll down a little bit hmm. select this thing and edit the denominator in terms of maybe 200 now click ok see it has been changed as 100 divided by 200 so this is a kind of fraction so we can easily change this so these are all the things that we have discussed now and uh, you don't want all these calculations part and you are you really hate calculations and but you you are in a need to enter uh, the fraction so how to do that for example see here if you just go to this insert tab here you'll have an option called symbols in that just click on this equation part here then you'll have an option called fraction just tap on that here you'll be having multiple designs of it for example select this one stack fraction and move it to your desired place you can just increase your size for the better visibility then you can select for example i want to enter maybe 57 in the numerator and in the denominator i want to enter the 9t okay just click out of the box and automatically you'll be having this fraction what is the use of it nothing just if you just want this fraction to be uh, visible in your worksheet you, if you just want this to be visible in any of your worksheet then you can have this option of uh, putting your fraction here just as the reference or maybe you can use it for the calculations part or whatever you want why because if you just enter here obviously it would get merged with all these other fractions but if you just paste it over here with the help of this uh, uh, equation symbols option equation option then the size would be bigger and uh, you can easily uh, see it and you can uh, use it as a reference for your future calculations. Okay.